Good morning, movers, and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. Okay, the workout today is that favorite format, the LUCA format. So we take a lower body, upper body, cardio, and ab exercise. I'm gonna repeat that in a circuit, okay? And we're gonna do a no repeat workout today. So no exercise is done twice. Each exercise will be done for 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. I'm gonna get you to grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today, okay? I also, I'm gonna use a bench, something to step up on, something to lie on. But if you don't have one, don't worry. I will show you a modification. All right, we'll start you with a nice warm up and we'll end with a cool down as well. Are you ready to move daily? Me too. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna put mm, maybe intervals on the watch here since we are adding that cardio in. Let's start off with a front and back bend here, warm the sciatic, lower back, glutes up here a little bit. If you're just waking up, probably all of that needs to be stretched out, warmed up before we start lifting. One more here. Oh, feels good. Let's tap it across, get the blood flow going. Up and over. And arm circles here, tap that out. Switch directions. Good. Feet shoulder width. Let's squat and reach the arms in front. One more here, now take it wide, toes are out. Open right here. Last one here, stay wide, touch the toes. Tiptoes, let's do some calf raises here. 15, swing those arms. Five more here. And into some hip openers. into a static lunge, little pelvic tilt here, and drop the hips up and down for 10 a leg. And then we'll get just started here. Just like to warm up that hip flexor a little bit. Last three, two, and switch sides. Little tilt and drop. Last one here, very nice. All right, we're gonna start with a step up nice and close to the bench to focus on quads. If you don't have a bench, I'm gonna get you to do a diagonal drop squat, all right? Alternating sides, you can hold the dumbbells on your shoulders. All right, so step up, close, step up on your bench, nice and close, and try not to push really hard off that bottom foot. Try to do the work with your top leg. I'll call half and we'll switch. I'm holding 12s and we push. Stay close and push straight up and down. Mm 
Last one on this side. Switch legs. Moving into a balanced one arm row. You can do a one arm row, I'll hold 15s. Um, just right here. You can balance the leg out. I'm gonna be on my bench. One leg out behind. And I row right here, straight up and down. Okay, I'll call half and we'll switch. This is a really great way to activate those core stabilizer muscles as well as Hit that middle back muscle. Go ahead and switch sides. Leg is out, nice balance. And we lift. I'll definitely switch to one. Moving into cardio, we're gonna do two jack, center and squat. All right, make sure there's no dumbbells in your way. Two jack, here we go. One, two, jump to the front and back. Moving into your Spider-Man plank. Spider-Man crunch, so plank position. We're gonna crunch knee up. You could mod from here and just bring the knee up if you wanna stay on your knees. So we're up and switch. Good. to the pendulum swing. I'll hold a 12, front back lunges. I'll call half and then we'll switch our stationary leg. All right, here we go. Front lunge here, switch your hand into that reverse. Stay tall. Switch your static leg. Okay, pop press. I'm gonna do a little pop on the legs little softness and then a push. Okay, I'm holding a 15, I'll call half. So, little hop. Good. Four is engaged here. You can either do a little hop or that knee bend. 
Switch inside. that down. Going into my two knees, two front kick, punch. There's a low impact. Two knees, two kicks. into your pistol crunch on your back. One leg is straight, one knee is bent. You could put your bent knee foot on the floor to support back if you need. I'll call half, crunch to the ceiling. Very nice. Switch your sides and up. Hug those knees. Take a 30 second water rest here. Pause if you need a longer break. All right, you wanna make sure you're not dizzy standing up here. And there's the next set. Moving into your three pulse squat. I'll hold 15s up on my shoulders. You're gonna pulse at the bottom for three times. Push through that flat foot. Nice and tall in the back, drop. So your one, two, three push up right here. into my seated hammer curl. Of course you could stand. I'll stick with 15s. I'm gonna sit nice and tall, knees close together so I don't hit them. All right, and a slight turn at the top of this hammer curl. Here we go. So you hammer, squeeze at the top. Don't swing at the bottom, right like that. Set the weights down, you're into your traveling frog shuffle. So low impact is just here. All right, side to side frog. Three hops left, three hops right. Stay low. <sighs> Tight with the bench here. That's okay, I'll just keep it closer.
I want you to drop your glutes, keep your chest up. It's a burn on the quads. Let's go into a windshield wiper for abs. Straighten the legs for more challenge. Bend them a little easier. Keep your back and shoulders on the ground. Side to side. And switch. You're gonna stay down here for that hamstring march right on your back, so don't get up. Okay, walk the feet away from you. You're gonna push through your heel or a flat foot. Push the glutes toward the ceiling or your hips, alternating, focusing on that hamstring. Here we go, and we press other side up. I hold the sides of my mat just so I'm not sliding down. It's a great target on the hamstring, calves, so good. Stay down here for that blast off push up. You can do the push up from the knees to mod. We're gonna start in plank, blast off low and back, up to a push up, or drop to your knees and perform the push up there. Reach it back, up, press, good. into your cardio kick. I'm gonna do a hop cardio kick, so a little hop in between. You could take that out. Low impact is here, or here, <laughs> here, it's here. Here we go, one, two. grab some fives for standing abs. Wide stance here. Hands on the shoulders. Alternating oblique crunch. Tall back. Here we go. Side, center, side, center.
All right, quick water sip. Take a look at the next circuit coming up. Okay, I'm gonna hold my 20s for this deadlift drop squat combo. Of course, you could do one or the other if you can't lift that dumbbell up into that drop position. Starting with my deadlift, and I hinge down, then I pop it up and drop low and drive. move into a seated skull crusher for upper body. I'm gonna hold my 20. You could stand here as well. I like to sit just to tuck the pelvis under a bit. Keep elbows close to your ears. Rest if you need. Moving into cardio. I'm gonna climb the ladder. All right, rapid fire high knee with the hands for low impact. I'll kick it up. Here, if you don't need the break, let's go. Plank body saw. So plank position. You could mod this just holding from the knees. I'm gonna rock forward and back into that plank. Relax your hands. So you're forward and back and pause. Forward, back and pause. Tremendous shoulder activation here too. Oh, Nellie Olson, mm, into your curtsy lunge. Hi, I'm gonna hold 15s, alternating curtsy. If you don't want to curtsy, reverse lunge is good. Right there, switch sides.
I'll hold 12s for my wide row bicep curl, hinging at the waist. Wide row up to 90 on the elbow, then stand and curl. Wide row here, turn at the bottom, stand and curl. Super flat back. I don't want any rounded shoulders here. Stick your chest out, stick your butt out. Keep your elbows in on the curl. Pop, turn. Mm, there it is. Sprinter hop. So you're gonna take it low, tap the ground, drive a high knee. That's your low impact. Up all half and we'll switch. We'll add the hop to kick it up. Drop it low, drive it here. Last one on this side, and switching legs. Scissor and flutter combo. 10 of each and then you'll switch. Count your own 10, I'll count the first ones for you. All right, starting with that scissor, crisscross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten flutters, and one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, back to scissor. And flutter. Push your back into the ground. And scissor. And flutter. Three, two, and one. Hug the knees. All right, make your way up to standing again. Water rest if you need. And there's the next circuit. All right, moving into a squat reverse lunge combo. I think I'll hold a 10 pound dumbbell on my one shoulder. This is work. Stay low the entire time if you can. So we drop and lunge. Don't come out of this position. Okay, so good fire on that glute and quad. <clears throat> Three, two, one, and switch. Fire, I tell ya. Stay low. Nice, grabbing fives for my lateral high front combo. Okay, up to the sides, and then you're gonna bring it to a high front raise. Knees are soft. You're here, high front, and down. Up, and slow on the descent.
Okay, moving into cardio. We're gonna go into that T-Rex. Nice and low to the ground, arms are open. Okay, ready? Here we go, drop it low, together low. Down on the ground for your banana boat hold. All right, hold it up as long as you can, rest as you need. Elbows right by your ears. Here we go, everything is up and hold right there. If you need to support your head with your hand, that's fine. Rest as needed. Hard. Up for your side lunge, rocker, lunge rocker. So I'm gonna hold 115, rocking side to side. If you don't wanna hinge forward, stand tall and hit this lunge here. Otherwise you're here and we'll switch hands. Back is flat, you reach your hips back, that's it. You gotta stick your chest out though. Row hammer curl combo. Hinge forward somewhere, we'll do a single row. Hinge out hammer curl. Don't let the elbow jump back. I'll call halfway, hinge at the waist, and we row down, hammer here. You could prop yourself up on your leg. Row and hammer. Let's stay on the same side for a full 45, okay? I'm just getting started here. Stay with me now. Okay, the curl got challenging, didn't it? It's nice when you have nothing on the back of the side of the arm, you really have to rely on the bicep. All right, switch sides. Super flat back, 45 per, uh, seconds here. Curl, hammer here. So I see a lot of people pull their elbow back before they curl. I don't want you to do that. You have to start at that dead stop at the bottom and curl from there. Mm. 
nice center jack side squat. Center jack here. Move to a side squat there for low impact. Center side. Here we go. Okay, I'm holding one five for my starfish pass under. For low impact, just gonna lie on the ground without sitting up to your tailbone and alternate sides. Here we go, we're up, back, pass it under. Now switch, up, down, pass it under. into that sumo squat foot sweep. I'll hold a 20. I'll call halfway on the sweep. Wide stance, drop it low. Foot is up, facing the ceiling, that inside of your foot. So you're targeting inner thigh here. sides. Into my single, single double tricep kickback. I'll hold eights. Gonna hinge at the waist, single, other side single, and then double kick back here, elbows up. So we single, switch, now together, up, slight pause. No shrugging. Three squats, three abductor jumps. All right, you can fully jump if you want. You can modify the whole time right here. I'm doing three and three. Three squats here. Go for three, two, one. Now jump for three, click your heels.
boat rocker switch. Now, if you can't do the switch because of your tailbone, you're on your back for a nice bicycle or modified bicycle. Otherwise, we're switching. You're here. Switch, rock, up and switch. I was migrating toward the bench. I'm gonna get my, my 20 for the squat alternating front lunge. This is your last circuit here, or last round. Here we go. We drop it low, pick it up and lunge. Back to squat, other side lunges. Really want you to drop that squat nice and low. My dumbbell touches the ground, but go as far as you can hold good form. I'll grab my tens. For the crush complex, crush complex with tens, it's a curl, press, tricep extension. Here we go. Press. I actually have a 12 and a 10 right now. Where's <laughs> the little 10? Right there on the rack, Tracy. <laughs> I'm not switching now. I guess my right side needs to work a little harder anyway. Don't do what I do. Actually could have done it all with the 12s. It's feeling good here. Double hop frog squat. All right, you're gonna go down. Low pulse, low pulse. That's your low impact. Here we go. Little and up, little and up. Good, two wide hops in that low squat position. Dumbbell drag is the last one. I've got a five. Woo! Good workout, folks. Hold from the knees if you need. And drag right here. Switch. Don't rock the hips. Slow and controlled here. Almost there, folks. Last 15 seconds. Nice neutral neck. Looking at the ground right below you. Stay with me. Stay in the pocket. Last five seconds. In three, two, 
One and done. You move daily in your Luca, no repeat. Holy Hannah workout. <laughs> oh, it's always tremendous at the end, isn't it? Okay, nice work. Join for a stretch if you can. Why don't we just stay in this position right here, open the legs a bit, reach those arms forward and press the chest to the ground. Drop your head to your mat. Exhale nice and slow. Hold this for a few seconds. Take your right hand, reach it across your left and stretch that lat. That's it. Oh, that feels amazing. Switch sides, left hand across your right. Pull your left hip back. Pull those arms in, around up into cat and cow. Oh, around through the shoulder blades, drop the chest, lift the chin. One more here, draw the breath in, round the back. Exhale, drop the chest, lift the chin. Hand behind your head and reach that elbow up. Take a deep breath in, slow your heart rate down with a slow exhale. Switch sides, deep breath in here. And slow exhale. Come to seated here. All right, nice and tall. We're gonna hinge at the waist. How was that for you folks? Good, are you staying with it this holiday season? Well, if you're at the end of this workout, you definitely are, which is amazing. Uh, yeah, I don't want you not to, please. You will not be happy with yourself if you don't do those good micro processes and habits that you were dialing in September, October, November. You were working hard at. We had that November 30 solid challenge. And so many of you decided that, you know what, this is the time. And that's the thing in your life, you know, we, I always say you don't, you don't, you know, some people don't light the fire under themselves until they actually have diabetes or are diagnosed with atherosclerosis or heart disease of some sort. Um, or an immune disorder, you know, they just, they don't fix the roof while the sun is shining. And never was there a better time to do that than when you're actually feeling okay. But it's hard, it's hard to be motivated sometimes. And that motivation really has to come from a deep, profound reason for doing it. You know, my brother-in-law and sister uh, just had a grandbaby and the first one uh, in the family there, grandchild. And uh, my brother-in-law is just, <laughs> he's, he's keen to live longer to see that baby grow up now. He's like, okay, I've got a reason now. You know, before it was just about me and uh, I, I wasn't as dedicated, but now I just see that I wanna be able to get down on the ground and play with the child and go hunting and, you know, do all the things that he really enjoys doing. And so he's, kicked it back up and he's at the gym. So I'm very happy about that. Um, because there's a lot of people like in my family included that they just, it's not a priority at this time in their life because they feel okay. They don't feel like they really need it. And so often people will work out for that aesthetic reason, right? For the look. Um, and if you look okay, if you're like a leaner body shape anyway, sometimes you think, well, I don't need to do it. But the criticalness and the benefits of what it does internally just like far outweigh any aesthetic gain, in my opinion. And so in that regard, it becomes a no-brainer. Like you have to do it. It's just like it's, it's a no-brainer how much healthier it's going to make you and how much it's going to stave off, you know, dementia and Alzheimer's and uh, we have that. We're going through that with Quentin's mom right now, and it's very hard and sad to see. And it's, you know, I mean, I, there's no guarantees in life that if you do exercise, you're going to avoid X, Y, and Z because we still are dealt the hand that we're dealt. But your ability to move through it better uh, with more energy, recovery time for whatever you get is likely going to be better if you are healthy on the inside right? If you don't have a large amount of visceral fat, if you have healthy and abundant mitochondria because you've been doing your cardiovascular exercise, uh, you have muscle and you have good ligament and joint health because you've been lifting weights, right? Doing resistance training. So all of those things to me are just so crucial 
And I hope they are for you too. I hope today you just go, okay, you know what? This, this has to be a no brainer for me. It has to be something that I just do. People like us do things like this. This is what we do. We don't make excuses. You know, life might happen, but we come right back. We come right back. We bound back like a spring <laughs> because that's who we are and that's what we want. And that's, uh, that's what we do. So think about those things today. Try to cultivate that or embody that person who does things like this forever and ever, amen, because it's, it's gonna benefit you and it's gonna benefit the ones that you love as well. And for me, that is key. All right, thanks for joining Go Move Daily in your wellness and nutrition. I'll see you in the next workout. I'll take an exercise in each category and we're gonna repeat it for three, should we? No repeat. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, the four, oh my Lord, say it.